Now, your KSBW weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. This is a little time lapse from our new camera up on Fremont Peak about an hour and a half ago, checking out that sunset. Boy, look at those colors. Isn't that gorgeous? That is just unbelievable. And we are going to have a lot of great shots from this camera over the next few months. I can guarantee you that. Uh, we'll take a look at the rain totals uh, from last night. Talked about that quick moving front and it's exactly what it did. Came through about between meh, 12 and about 2.30. Dropped about a tenth to a quarter of an inch. Models nailed it and long gone now. And we could say goodbye to doing rain totals for a while. There it was. There was the front right there. Again, very quick mover. Had a little punch to it when it came on by. Now it's all snow out towards Salt Lake City into Flagstaff. And parts of Vegas now getting some rain. So a rainy night there. Uh, on the strip and a chilly one too. Again, uh, that was a cold storm system. As Mike Tassell said, snow levels down below 3,000 feet. This is all high pressure here. Uh, there really aren't any big storms out there. There's one right there that's headed north, but it can't get to us. We've talked about this a bunch of times, how the jet stream was coming all the way to the west coast, and that was basically delivering the storms right to our doorstep. Right now, though, uh, if we were to look at the jet stream, it kind of kind of fizzles out right out here. And guess what? That's where the storms are about making it to. They're not going to make it any uh, further east because high pressure is going to block everything. There's no energy in the atmosphere to move that high out of the way, which for us at this point is a good thing. High pressure, there it is, off the coast and inland. So it's a big ridge here. It's going to encompass just about everybody, not only in the west coast, but even in the inner mountain west. Offshore flow continues tonight, tomorrow. Tomorrow night into Saturday, we'll take you into the weekend here. Again, you can see that pattern of rotating high pressure over the entire western part of the U.S. So again, that is a formidable block to any storm systems that try to get here. And that high is still there, certainly on Sunday and Monday. It looks like our pattern change will be at the very end of the month into the first couple of days, maybe of February. When that happens, we may start to see storms track down from the north. And if you remember that pattern, that's when we had in December early and they're basically cold storms. They're kind of quick hitting about a foot of snow to the Sierra, half an inch or a little more rain here. That's kind of the idea as we get towards February. So that atmospheric river program, don't know if that'll come back this winter, but it's certainly not in the cards for uh, a while as far as we could tell. Futurecast showing the coldest of the air moves out, but it'll take until about Saturday to do that. You can see a little bit of warming here, and what you'll notice is we're sort of on the edge of much warmer temperatures off the coast and much colder temperatures inland, and we're right in that zone where we could go either way. So it turns out that we will have slightly warmer temperatures for the weekend, but it certainly won't be a heat wave. Uh, again, yesterday it looked like more of this warmth would get in here. Now it's saying, well, maybe not quite as much. Either way, it's January. We'll be fine with middle and upper 50s and some low 60s compared to everybody else. Five up in Tahoe tonight, mid 30s to upper 30s in the Central Valley, 40s all the way down. And, even projecting a 39 in Los Angeles, that's going to be pretty chilly uh, for them. Tomorrow we rebound, but again, low 50s after a cold night in the Central Valley, Sacramento, 20s up there in Lake Tahoe, holding on to that monster snowpack. Now it's not melting at all. 30 to 40 overnight, and you're going 30 to 40, yeah, below the freezing mark for some spots with some frost and freeze potential, certainly. Here are the morning lows, so dress for that. Low to mid, upper 30s, coast low to mid 30s valleys and again we do have that freeze warning that is now up it includes the santa clara valley from san jose out to hollister gilroy and that and then everybody basically south of salinas in the salinas valley and the interior parts of monterey and san benito counties that's tonight and tomorrow night so if you got any plants that are out there you want to cover them up 50 to 55 tomorrow light winds beautiful day sunshine on tap for everybody and low to mid 50s coldest spots up in the hills right around 50 but a nice day light winds and again, wall to wall sunshine that takes you into the weekend. We warm up a little bit. We have more 50s to upper 50s to low 60s and maybe slightly warmer middle of next week. I don't have any raindrops out there in that eight day. The nights will be cold even after our freeze warnings drop on Friday night into Saturday. We'll still have cold nights with lots of 30s.